Hi everyone, Ryan here. You might remember this, the vending machine that I made a couple of, couple of months ago. Well, it's back. I've revised it. So there's some changes. I'll talk about those changes. But if you want to know more about it, like where to get the code uh, and how to buy the wood shell kit, that's on my website and that's in the description. So uh, without, yeah, here's more stuff. Okay, so here's the revised version of the Venduino. It's still the same size, coming in about 10 inches by 9 by 7, but I made some changes to it to make the build a little bit more flexible and add some features if people want to go in that specific route. So the first thing you'll notice is the front plate's been split, so you can hinge this front door and allows easier access to restock the machine. The second thing I've done since these are now split is I've included two different panels. So if you want to put an official quarter or your country coin mechanism, you can do that. Uh, it'll fit the slim ones and the top panels have, or the drawer panels have slots cut out to fit this. So this is a, a replacement for a Donkey Kong style arcade cabinet. So if, if you search for that, this should fit. Um, the next thing I've done is I removed the buttons or any holes on the buttons and essentially you have two blank panels that you can drill through and either put one hole for a rotary encoder which I've done in this case or drill the holes for whatever buttons you find or the sizes that you want to use. So I've done that as well. And on the back I've also split the back panel to allow easy access for pulling the quarters out, or if you just want to show off the guts. So we can remove the back panel. And I've also included some parts that mount whatever microcontroller board you want to use, and it'll mount it horizontally or perpendicular to the bottom floor. That way you can wire this thing up a little bit easier with the bottom panel screwed in. And it just kind of looks neater if you want to show people like how it works. Here's the guts. So this is my PCB that I kind of made for specifically having this build in mind. But the assembly is still pretty much the same. Uh, the code's a little bit different. This time the code counts quarters. So you can adjust, co adjust cost for different items in the machine. And again, since the rotary encoder, you don't need four buttons and a it saves a lot of wires uh, when you're just using the encoder. So this has a switch too, so we can get a look at how that works. Why? Assembly for this new revised Venduino is the same as the previous one. Mount the servos to the back plate, then put the shelves in, and then start building the body around that. The bottom panel now has an extra insert for this bracket plate that you can mount your microcontroller to, which just makes things a little bit easier to display or wire and instead of having to wire from the outside and then stuff everything in and hope it fits. Uh, so this, these can be glued separately and then insert it into the bottom plate. Then you just screw on the windows and you're done. And remember, there's two different front plates if you want to use a real coin acceptor or make your own 3D print, your own mechanism. And then you have two extra plates that you can drill holes for an encoder or for buttons. Now the circuit is very similar. Not a lot has changed. I've just revised this. We're still using the uh, 4050 level shifter with a Nokia 5110 LCD and you know you can use my PCB if this is a lot of wiring but you can just breadboard this it's it's not it's not too complicated servos are still connected the same we have a 5 volt regulator this time and instead of having four buttons to control each servo 
Uh, we're saving some room, saving some wiring, and saving some parts by using a rotary encoder with a built-in switch. So with this encoder, you can turn it, and that will go through the selection of what you want to dispense, and then pressing the switch built in the encoder will do that dispense. The code is has probably seen the most overhaul, so we're still using a lot of the similar, same similar stuff, like we need the libraries for the 5110 LCD, and the connections are still pretty much the same. But looking at this just from a quick view, we can see a couple differences. Uh, so the first thing I've done is I've included changes in price, so you can now set prices for the specific slots. So we have one quarter, one quarter, two quarters, and or three seventy-five cents in this case. And here's a section of how the rotary encoder works. So the, every time you turn the coder, it counts one. So we're just making a range of count. So in this case, uh, between zero and ten counts, that's going to give you selection A. And if you keep going, you'll go past that into B, C, and so on. And then since we're doing costs in this case, we want to make sure so we're subtracting how many credits when items are dispensed. And if you can't afford the item, we're going to give you the not enough credits screen. And the rest of this is just drawing graphics at the appropriate time and running the servos. Oh yeah, another thing I did, there's the divider piece right here. There's two of them. There's a second one with a little cutout for a small 180 degree servo. And you can make a anti-theft lock if you really want to. So I'm gonna attempt and do that. The code already has that in there, but I'll, I'll give this a try. Perfect. Oh. 